Hello beautiful Virgos, welcome to my channel, Miss Reem Healing. My name is Reem. Welcome into your March reading. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Virgo on your soul to soul connections. This could be for soulmate, twin flame energy, ascension, awakening, work, family, friendship, career, any messages that you need to hear to help guide you and assist you and heal you okay i just got the message um collapsing timelines they want me to like spit it out like right away so um collapsing timelines okay um this is a general reading if this does not resonate with you it's just not for you if you don't understand it it's not for you maybe you'll have an understanding of it at a later time so just be kind to yourself and also be kind to others just because this reading is not for you does not mean that it's not for anybody else okay um so bear with me here um i'm going to use the angel tarot deck just to get a few messages <laughs> um and i'm also my dog is like she's just getting trying to get my attention um and then I'm going to get a card from the Good Tarot deck, and then we're going to do a spread, okay? So just bear with me. Um, okay, so I got the message collapsing timelines. So you are collapsing timelines right now, meaning you are healing at a very rapid rate. You are healing so much of yourself that you are healing areas of your life from previous lifetimes and also lineage so the more that you go in depth in your healing the more that you ascend the more that timelines collapse does that make sense i'm getting like just things collapsing because you're healing so much. You've healed so many layers and so many depths of you. You've healed traumas from not only this lifetime, but lifetimes before. So it, you're collapsing timelines. Timelines are collapsing. I hope I'm like explaining that right. <laughs> okay, please, please give me clarity. Okay, all right. All right, <clears throat> let's get a message here from the Angel Tarot for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. I've been channeling this group of Virgos, I think, for a year. I think this is the longest that I've channeled for one group. Okay, sorry I haven't... Uh, been so consistent here okay thank you thank you archangels guardian angels thank you for your support for your guidance and for your protection the overall energy for virgo wow <laughs> wow it's the tower and i saw things collapsing like literally and underneath that is the ace of cups is love okay virgos wow okay i need i'm freaking out a little bit this is literally what i saw in my head i literally saw things well not like i didn't see the tower but i saw things collapsing but in a timeline perspective okay this is like t literally timelines are collapsing here because you've healed so much in your lineage ancestor lineage um you've healed so much of your own past life traumas that you're literally collapsing timelines by doing that i really hope that makes sense <laughs> okay so here we have the tower angel of enlightenment so yeah this is your enlightenment but this right now what this is talking about is collapsing timelines and here you have the ace of cups underneath that This is really talking to me about a newfound truth 
of self-love within yourself. This is also a coming together with your soulmate or twin flame. We're going to get more in detail of what this is. <clears throat> Lately, for a lot of, no matter what the sign, but what a lot of messages are coming through is the color blue because it's a really big emphasis right now on your throat chakra, on speaking clearly. It's time right now to stand in your truth and your authenticity and to speak into existence what it is that you want. And to, to talk clearly, to speak clearly your truth. I feel like you know, you know a lot of truths right now. You know the truth about a connection, okay? This could also be very significant of someone that you're connected to that is also receiving truth about this connection. I'm also seeing a boundary being like a, like a barrier being broken down. So this could be somebody's boundary around their heart I also just saw a heart in a cage so this could be you or the person that you're connected to you are collapsing someone's barrier or boundaries or walls you're collapsing their walls does that make sense I feel like I'm, I feel like I'm not making sense <laughs> oh my god I just need to ground my energy I feel like I'm in space I feel like I'm floating. I feel like these people in the tower. That's how I feel. Um, what was I saying? Yes, I feel like you're breaking down someone's walls. You're breaking down their walls around their heart. But this is also your awakening, your healing, and your collapsing timelines. Because you have healed so much of yourself. You've literally healed so much of yourself that you are just going to receive this amazing new love. This, this could be any kind of love. Your soulmate, your twin, a new connection, whatever. However it is that this is resonating with you, this is it. This is what you're receiving. I don't even want to pull any more from here. <clears throat> I'm going to get, my heart is pounding. I'm going to get one card from here or two or three. Let's just go with the flow and um, then we're going to pull up a spread. I hope you guys can hear me properly. I got a mic, I got a newer mic. It's, it's a little bit longer, but it's not the length that I wanted it but it'll do, so I hope you can still hear me clearly. All right, for Virgo, this is the Good Tarot deck. For Virgo. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, Virgo. To confirm the overall energy of the tower, it's the page of earth. Yeah, see, something new is beginning. Something new, something magical. See, but this is like, all, what I'm getting here is um, a newfound truth, clarity, and adventure with this page of earth. I'm also, I just heard, let me show you something you've never seen before. Are you ready for this adventure? For some of you, um, I'm, al I'm almost getting this energy of Five of Cups underneath that. See, this is something to do with past healing, like I mentioned before, because um, I got a message that it's like if you were to go back or if you could say something to your younger self, 
your nine, 10 year old self, what would you say to him or her? I just got that message. So this is like looking back into the past. This has a lot to do with your healing here. This is why the Ace of Cups, this love, this soulmate connection, this twin flame connection, however it is that you're resonating with this reading, you've healed so much that this is coming through in your present energy. This is now energy. And this is the past energy. This is confirmation of what I felt earlier about healing the past, healing lineage, healing your younger self. Okay, I'm going to get one more. Thank you. Wow, yes. <laughs> Transformation. Absolutely. This is number 13. The, so this is death in the traditional tarot deck. Here it's transformation. Look at the phoenix. Again, this is uh, a child here. So you have two children here being emphasized in these cards. So it's as if you are rising up again. I feel like a lot of you have so much innocence about you. You feel young, you feel playful, you feel so much joy in this. I feel like you have this newfound energy about you. Um, I feel excitement. I feel adventure here. Um, like you're just getting ready to embark on this new path, on this new journey. And this is what you are getting ready to receive not only getting ready to receive but this is what you are emitting out into the world you are emitting so much love you are emitting so much self-love so you know that what you give out you get you give right back you get right back excuse me <laughs> i see um someone chasing butterflies or fireflies um, maybe this was something that you used to do when you were younger or the person that you were connected to um, so maybe that's confirmation for some of you out there that you used to chase butterflies or you know put them in a jar or something like that and then um, release them out back into the wild um, but for some of you I just I see someone um, chasing butterflies and chasing fireflies okay that could be confirmation for some someone might have red hair or like recently dyed their hair red is also a confirmation that i'm getting obviously not everyone so just take whatever message applies there's so many energies and so many people out there someone is also has a um shaman shamanic uh, ancestor okay that's for some of you again not all of you okay <clears throat> okay okay let's get into the tarot <laughs> okay all right so this is the golden universal deck let's get more of this beautiful story Thank you so much for allowing me to read for you, for you Virgos. <laughs> I love reading for you Virgos. I absolutely love it. I'm also, I just got the message, you make me feel young again. Like you, you make this person feel young, like that they can be themselves, that they can be this like child with you this innocence around you like i feel like all my worries like of my day like just slipped away like no cheesiness intended there but honestly it's like you make this person feel really young you make this person feel playful some of you may have a boy and a girl uh two kids or these are going to be your future kids as well. 
Um, I see you like passing down your wisdom onto your children. For a lot of you, that's very important for you and to the partner that you are seeking or are currently with. Because there's a strong sense of family lineage here, whether you have a strong, um, like you, you have a strong core understanding of your family lineage and healing, uh, as we mentioned earlier. But for a lot of you, what I'm getting is that some of you came from a broken family, that what you are looking forward to is building a family. There's a strong essence here of rebuilding, like I want to build something. I want to build this because there's a, a sense of like collapsing like collapsing like timelines are collapsing around you because you've healed so much of you from past life and and family ancestral uh, ancestor lineage and you stand here in the present moment and now you are rebuilding you're literally rebuilding and you're looking out thinking what can I build and it's starting out of love you're building out of the foundation of love that's beautiful <clears throat> you're building from the foundation of love okay thank you page of cups oh yeah page of cups the knight of wands underneath that see again it's like there's so much young energy like i'm just realizing like look at all this young innocent energy this is not like in a lot of um interpretations it's you know immature energy but i'm not getting that i'm getting i'm getting young i'm getting free i'm getting innocence childlike just being free you know when you're a child you have no worries of the world you're just you're just carefree and and worryless you're just getting ready to build back up. <laughs> You're just getting ready to build. It's just this very playful energy here. Okay, interesting. Um, one second. They came out in reverse. I just want to make sure because I don't always take reversals. So let me just see here. Okay, so they said upright, okay. All right, so what cards came out together were the Five of Swords and the Hanged Man. So, I just heard someone doesn't wanna turn the tide. So meaning go with the flow, okay? Someone is avoiding going with the flow or this was, this was a, okay, past energy. So if this was you who struggled with uh, releasing and just allowing things to be as they are and unfolding naturally, if this was you, I see you coming out of this energy because we have here transformation, okay? And if this is the person that you are connected to, this is their energy, this is what they are transforming, okay? So they are learning how to go with the flow. They are learning confidence or you are learning confidence. I see that there has been um, some people in your past who made you feel as if you couldn't move forward in your life or they played uh, like devil's advocate, like whatever you would say, they would rebuttal it and they would um, like argue um, or try to like manipulate the situation, create stagnancy, okay? So you could have had people like this in your, li in your life or depending on which timeline you are at, maybe this is your current energy. So for some of you, this is past energy. For some of you, this is present energy. Um, and for some, this is future energy. So you have to, you know, use your own discernment and place yourself uh, where you are. resonating in this reading where you are resonating here I'm getting that someone um, fought at a beach or they had a fight at the beach 
or they had a bad memory at the beach or something like that, something of that nature. And it stopped a lot of progress in the connection or someone may live by the water is what I'm getting. Wow. Whoa. Wow. Okay. So three cards that came out together was the moon, the Hierophant, and the Two of Cups. So this is your person. Okay, Virgo, whoever it is that you are connecting to, you are either A, building a new foundation, or B, rebuilding a foundation with this person, rebuilding something solid. Because I feel like here with the Ten of Wands, somebody is bringing resources and material to start building with you. Someone is hiding their emotions here. And it's really funny because today is the full moon. So emotions are, are at a high right now. Um, but someone is hiding their emotions. Somebody isn't really open with their emotions. And it's funny because I, I had a feeling like someone lived by the water or um, f like had a fight um, on a beach. This doesn't have to be like you fighting with this person. This could just be people in your life that created chaos, okay? So you have to take it however it resonates. But you are building, remember what I said? You are building from a foundation of love. This is what you are building from, unconditional love. This is truth. This is the commitment. This is the spiritual union here with your counterpart. I feel like it's not quite revealed because it came out with the moon. So it's like, it's evident in the spiritual world. It's also um, in someone's dreams. Someone could be dreaming about marriage or dreaming about coming together with you in a, in a solidified commitment or in a solidified way, um, but I see marriage here, but I, whatever it may be, I, I don't see it revealed yet, okay? So it's in someone's thoughts and in their, in their feelings and their emotions. I'm feeling a lot of dreams here because I just kind of got um, I got very lightheaded. I always get very lightheaded with you guys to grab my energy. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> Six of Wands with the King of Swords. Wow. Okay, so like, um, a decision like a decision maker someone here is physically taking action not only with their words remember how I said there's a huge emphasis emphasis on throat chakra and speaking about what it is that you want so someone here is coming into coming out of stagnancy coming out of their own head even you know this five of swords um, could also be mental entrapment like battling with their own self or battling with their own ego so there's a really there's a lot of transformations there's a lot of energies that are being transmuted here collapsing and rebuilding more than one time like i feel like it's been quite wild with the energy um but someone here wants to make it public okay because you have here the two of cups with the hierophant and like i mentioned someone here wanting to make a connection stable wanting to make it um like i saw marriage here commitment however it is that you label it or define it you know that's up to you and that's between you and god as well okay but whatever it is it, it's 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 stable and it's union okay whatever however you define union that's for you but it's like, it's not yet revealed yet. And here you have the Six of Wands 
with the king of swords sorry oh my god the king of swords is loud just like falling out of my hands they have a lot to say i can feel their like energy shaking it's this person is very decisive right now on what it is that they want and now they want to come forward and reveal it they want to make it public meaning they want to announce it okay someone wants to announce it okay what well, that's just too many that's just too many it's so much all right, wow, Page of Pentacles and the Six of Cups. See here again with the children? It's all of this page energy, this innocence, this young, beautiful, vibrant, vivacious, eccentric energy. It's just this no worries. I feel like they wanna like, play with you like gift you with little things but they're meaningful things you know like as a kid you receive like a rock from your crush and you are like over the moon because you received a rock from your crush you know like like oh my god i got a rock i, I don't know that would make me happy if i got a rock from my crush i would be over the moon um maybe like some again this is like i'm being taken back to the beach there's a the beach is very significant i feel like maybe someone did give you a rock i don't know why i use that example but maybe they gifted you with something from the ocean or from the sea um maybe this is like their but it's like little gifts here and there that they're giving you remember we did talk about in the last i think it was like four or five readings it was just like you receiving abundance and blessings um in all areas of your life and now you have the ace of cups here so I feel like you're receiving little bits and pieces of this person's heart, but they're showing you in different ways. They're showing you in page ways so far. So I feel like they're they're they have this like real playfulness about them, even you, um, like very adventurous. They want to like gift you with little things. I feel like you love that. It's like this the sen the what is it sentiment very sentimental is that yeah that's the word i think king of cups i was waiting for one a king or a queen would show up here great perfect so the king see they again with the moon and i mentioned it's like this person is hiding their emotions so this person is is definitely hiding their emotions they're not making their emotions really known they don't like to talk about their emotions. They like to show little bits and pieces here and there. Okay, that, that's kind of what I'm getting with this person. Little things, little things, but they're not quite yet so expressive with how they feel. All right, let's, let's get some clarifications on these cards that came out. <clears throat> yeah, five of swords and the three of cups. So I'm just seeing a lot of people. So like I mentioned before with the five of cups, I kind of felt like it was, could be just a lot of people involved, um, whether this is current energy or past energy. Um, it, just a lot of people maybe in someone's ear, um, maybe battling with what to do. This is also uh, self-sabotaging energy, maybe listening to too much of what people have to say or their opinions on your path, your journey, spirituality, um, whatever it is, you know. I, I feel like this has affected you and the person that you're c connected to on this level. Um, it's just a lot of people. I just see a lot of disturbance, a lot of people and creating noise. Wow, that's a lot, but they said take it. So 
okay <laughs> so with the hanged man um i kind of felt like the stagnant energy with the hanged man because it did come out with the five of swords um it's kind of, it's like these people were preventing from you or from this connection or your your own awakening your or your own journey these people were creating stagnancy um and they were creating um it was like prevention like they were preventing you from moving forward but i felt here because of the death card transformation things were being transmuted and i felt like someone was going to get out of that energy and here it is clarifying the hanged man is you have three major arcanas that are clarifying the hanged man which is a major arcana so you have four major arcanas here so this is divine energy this is universal energies these energies cannot be changed they are fixed energies however they can be delayed okay so i feel like this is the delay this was the prevention caused by maybe someone listening to too many people or battling within their own ego, whatever it may be, however it resonates with you. And that this is the divine stepping in, healing. Healing here and moving you forward with the wheel. Okay, because it's part of your path, it's part of your own destiny to move along. And whatever it is that you went through that created this prevention or that created the stagnant energy, this pause was necessary for your healing and necessary for your growth to see things from a different perspective, to gain some more clarity. Um, and here you are moving forward. This is also your divine guidance is the chariot the chariot is guidance the chariot also follows the north star so it's interesting how the chariot came out with the star so right now you're being moved in the right well i mean you've always moved in the right direction but you're staying the course is what i just heard you're staying the course now you're just moving now you're moving now you're going to see progress and you're going to see things evolve okay you have the seven of pentacles at the bottom it's interesting they they told me you're going to see things evolve because it's like you're going to see things grow and evolve right before your very eyes things that you have set intentions for one second <clears throat> okay thanks <laughs> yeah okay makes sense all right so we have here the eight of cups with the ten of swords so this is what you're moving away from this is what you're walking away from did i just say that sorry i always like repeat myself because i forget what i say whenever i channel <sighs> sorry forgive me okay um Someone is standing in their power and standing their ground. Someone is moving towards whatever it is that they want. Okay, this is clarifying the Hierophant, the Two of Cups, and the Moon. This is what you're going towards. Spiritual union, marriage, commitment, however it is you want to define it, label it. That's between you and God and this person. Okay, whatever it is, this is whatever relationship, connection that you want, this is what you're moving towards. It's not yet revealed yet. I feel like it's not yet revealed yet, or maybe someone's emotions haven't come through yet, is because of past hurts. Maybe it has nothing even to do with you or this connection. This could be your own past, like your exes or their exes. Okay, take it however it applies. It could be all of these people that created chaos or stagnancy and prevented you from moving forward. I just see you and this person moving forward. You're walking your path. Remember, what did I say? Uh, now you're going to see things evolve. I feel like you're going, to, you're going to be walking this journey and you're going to see things pop up out of nowhere. Things are going to start appearing on your journey, on your path, because you've walked away from this. And this is what you're moving towards. This is what the divine is moving you towards. It 
someone is also a surfer is what I'm getting here. There's a lot of like water. If you're not resonating with that, that's okay. Okay, there's a lot of you. <laughs> All right, Knight of Swords at the bottom of that. You, I feel like someone's ex here, their energy is on you because they could be thinking about you or maybe you are thinking of them because you're trying to release their energy. Um, but someone's ex was very um, like verbally abusive, I wanna say, because I hear like harsh tones. Three of Pentacles with the Six of Wands. Okay, so I'm getting a work message here that you're going to be very successful on your work, um, on your work career. Someone is following their um, CEO dream, I just heard, or like working. Um, someone has a very big passion here, okay, with the Knight of Wands. Um, they're saying go after what it is that you want. Like do it now, like don't be afraid. Um, you're going to be really successful. You're going to collaborate with all of the right people once you take that step forward and initiative. Um, I just see someone like, it's it's like you just want to work. Like you want to be your own boss. Okay, that's a message for some. <clears throat> for some of you, um, you will collaborate with this with this partner of yours okay there's a there's um, like you two mesh really well um, this could be a music this could be songwriting or even any anything creative I feel like um, you two are going to be very uh, in sync with your passions and your dreams I'm also getting here that remember how I said someone wants to announce it and make it public um, this is like, this is like, uh, the public announcement, like someone is working on, uh, someone is working on something here. So they could be like setting up a, like a date night or setting up a party for some of you, like a surprise party for some of you. Um, they could be like talking to their friends and family, like, oh, I want to do this for him or her. Um. So somebody is setting something up to publicly announce this. This is like a gesture. Remember, like this person is not so expressive with their emotions or their words, but they like to show you here and there. Okay, so I feel like they're making a, a grand gesture here. They're working on something. Um, and I'm also getting another message that someone is also working up the courage to come forward because again like someone is working on something here and with the six of wands this is courage and confidence so someone is building up the courage and the confidence to come forward to you to come forward they feel very passionate towards you Nine of Wands, very determined. They're wounded. Remember how I said that you break down their walls or you're breaking down their walls? This is what you're doing. You're breaking down their walls. This is literally the cards <laughs> that are speaking to me of, yeah, you you break down this, this person's walls. This is their heart. Their heart is healing. Their heart has been wounded. Your heart has been wounded and these are all of their walls but look this person has stepped outside of the wall do you see the wall is behind this person and they're stepping out cautiously but they're out they're not behind the wall so you're it's like you're pulling them forward and you make them feel very playful again We have the Queen of Pentacles. I'm just, I was guided to one more, so one second.
Okay. <laughs> Guided to one more. Hold on. Sorry. Thanks. All right, there we go. Holy shiznits. Okay. Okay. I just want to show you quickly because that's the bottom of the deck. So, one second. Before I get there. So, clarifying the King of Cups. You have the Eight of Wands, the Five of Pentacles, and the Queen of Pentacles. Okay, so for some of you, this is a, um, a person that you sync really well with, okay? Not only emotionally, physically, um, but also on a creative level, okay? Even spiritually, you guys sync really well, obviously, um, because you're very soulfully connected divinely okay this is your counterpart but for the group that's resonating with a creative partnership like you two really work well very creatively you guys balance each other's negative or sorry not negative traits weak traits okay so what you lack they have is the message that i'm getting so that can resonate with you in any capacity, really, not just on a partnership level, like a creative partnership level, but what you lack, they have, is the message that I'm getting, okay? And there's going to be communication here between you two about this energy, but it's almost like someone is coming into recognition of that. Um, like you have what I don't and I have what you don't it's kind of like that type of narrative it's this balance okay for some of you um, you're going to be very financially stable okay the divine is saying don't worry about your finances come out of lack mentality be in abundant and grateful mentality it's a message for some um this is interesting for some of you this is um this these people are like uh, what i see is some um, like they're outside of a church and it's like they can't get in but the door is always open um take it metaphorically but the divine is saying you can always speak to us so someone is feeling like they can't connect to source god jesus the universe whoever it is that you call on um whenever you pray the divine is saying you can always reach us okay that's a message for someone out there okay let me see if there's any other message from here oh someone is traveling for work i see here um you're not moving you're just like traveling a lot for work or you could have recently traveled or will be traveling this person could live at a long distance from you um that could be for some okay now let's get to the bottom of the deck you have the King of Wands, the Ten of Cups, and the Four of Wands. And look at that, Ten of Wands underneath that. <laughs> the High Priestess underneath that. Like, this is crazy. The bottom of the deck is the exact story. The Seven of Wands, Three of Swords. Like, this person is breaking down their walls. Um, not really revealing how they feel not really ex not expressive at all actually um but this person is coming with the resources the ten of wands they're caring a lot but they want to build this is someone like this is someone like bringing the material bringing the resources to build with you what are they going to build they're going to build this home this four of wands this 11 11 ten of cups this person wants to build a home with you this is what they see in their future with you Okay, this person is very confident, very passionate. This person knows what they want. This is what they want with you. This is at the bottom of the deck. So, yes. 
4444 right there. You're going to have not only emotional fulfillment with this person, but you're also going to be very stable. You're going to be not only in a, a spiritual home, like you're constantly, wherever you go, um, you, you'll always feel like home when you're around this person. Um, I feel like for a lot of you Virgos, you already feel like home because you're whole yourself. You've really worked on your self-love. And like I mentioned in the beginning of the reading, you are now building, rebuilding a foundation made out of love, based on unconditional love or made out of unconditional love. I hope I phrased it right because it was such a beautiful statement. <laughs> but um, I mentioned marriage before when I talked about the Two of Cups and the Hierophant and it wasn't exactly revealed yet, okay? So this is coming in your near future because the energies are here now. So this means that someone is thinking about it. Somebody has it on their mind, okay? This is both of you. Both of you have this as a goal for your relationship. Not the end goal, but it's a goal of yours together. Um, and here you have a marriage, two marriage cards as well. <clears throat> Take it however it applies. However you define it and describe it for yourself. Okay, the signs that I see here are Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, strong water, water energy, like strong water energy. So this is significant of a water sign, but also this is very significant of the moon, the full moon that we have today as well. Um, I'm also seeing Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Could also be de dealing with another Virgo. Okay, okay. I'm sorry, this reading was so long. All right, I love you guys. I hope this resonated with you. Thank you so much for watching and God bless.